In the previous video, we talked about the five most famous royal mistresses in history. And with your tips and requests for a part two, here we are again. In this video, we will now list another five highly famous royal mistresses. We start the list with Madame de Montespan, Louis XIV's favorite, who was accused of witchcraft. Madame de Montespan was born on October the 6th, 1640, in France. She came from one of the most noble families and was groomed early on to have a sound marriage. She became a lady-in-waiting to Henrietta of England, wife of Louis XIV's brother. And she married in 1663. Four years later, the Sun King fell in love with his wife and made her his mistress. As much as they wanted to keep their relationship hidden, the affair was made public. Her husband sparked a huge scandal and was banished from court. During their relationship, the official mistress had seven children with the king. With the death of Louis XIV's sister-in-law in 1670, she became a lady-in-waiting to the queen herself and missed no opportunity to humiliate Maria Theresa, something the king disliked. Despite being the sovereign's official mistress, the great leader eventually fell in love with Françoise d'Aubigny, by then Marquis de Matenon, chosen by Montspan to care for her children. The king's relationship with his former lover was coming to an end, which contributed to his falling in love with another woman, much to Montspan's chagrin. Not only was she replaced, but she was also accused of involvement in acts of sorcery. With her image eroded, Montspan came to be considered a dangerous witch. The possibility that she had poisoned a young girl further destroyed her reputation among royalty. Louis XIV, fearing to have his name involved in this scandal, ordered that all charges against her be dropped and that her name not be mentioned again in any document. Second on the list is Lola Montez. We have not yet made a biographical video of her, so if you're interested in knowing more, please comment. Born in Ireland under the name Eliza Gilbert, this Anglo-Irish girl was a dancer and a Spanish courtesan, Lola Montez. Before arriving in Bavaria in 1846, the woman had already seduced the writer Alexandra Dumas and some members of the royalty. But she went down in history as mistress to King Ludwig I of Bavaria. From the first meeting with the dancer, the king went crazy for the woman. They quickly became inseparable, and the liberal Lola convinced the conservative Ludwig to support the progressive ideals of the youth. But the royal family hated her. The government also protested. National sentiment has been wounded, the advisors wrote to Ludwig. Bavaria is being ruled by a foreign woman, whose reputation in public opinion is negative. Ludwig, who wrote that Lola gave new life to my being, was undeterred. I will not give up Lola, he declared. I will never give up this noble princely being. My kingdom to Lola. He dismissed his cabinet and filled it with progressive ministers, ironically dubbed the Ministry of Good Hope. Lola's influence infuriated the Jesuit and conservative students at the University of Munich. They marched to her house in March 1847. But she was not intimidated. Lola jocularly toasted the crowd with a glass of champagne. She became known as the crownless queen of Bavaria. The king formed another cabinet, known as the Lola Ministry, and she persuaded him to temporarily close the university and crack down on free speech. But 1848 was a year of revolutions in Europe, and Lola overstayed her welcome. The inconsolable king was forced to send her into exile and abdicate six weeks later. Third on this list is Carolina Otero. It is hard to know how much of her biography is true, as the Spanish Carolina fabricated stories to promote herself. But she was one of the most celebrated dancers and courtesans in Europe during the Belle Opique. She claimed to be the daughter of an Andalusian gypsy and a Greek soldier. She lost her father as an infant and spent her childhood in a boarding school. At 12, looking much older, she performed dance shows in salons. She went to Lisbon and became known as La Belle Otero in the theaters. She became mistress to a rich banker and had other men until she married an Italian actor whom she abandoned when she caught him in bed with another woman. She went through Germany, Monaco, Austria, Russia, and the United States. But it was in Paris that she reached the peak of her popularity, with shows at Folies Berger. She had several affairs with royalty. Among them, Prince Albert I of Monaco, King Leopold of Belgium, Prince Edward VII of the United Kingdom, William II of Germany, Alfonso of Spain, and Prince Pierewski of Russia. La Belle died at the age of 97 from a heart attack, poor and alone. One of the most renowned romances in history was that of Julius Caesar and Cleopatra. 
She, the last queen of Egypt, was mistress to the Roman general. Cleopatra ruled Egypt alongside her brother, Ptolemy XIII. Meanwhile, Julius Caesar and Pompey were fighting for power in Rome, as was the case between the Egyptian brothers. Cleopatra arranged a meeting with Caesar to meet him and offered him a carpet. According to the records of the time, when he unwrapped the rug, he found a surprise, Cleopatra. The two had an affair and a son, who was named Caesarian. She resided in Rome, but returned to Egypt after Caesar's assassination. Years later, she won the heart of another powerful man of Rome, Mark Antony. He came to live in Alexandria, and they also had a son. Last on this list is Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is one of England's most famous mistresses and queens. She was the second wife of Henry VIII and remained queen consort for only three years when she was beheaded, charged with incest, treason, and adultery. Her daughter, Elizabeth, became one of the most relevant queens of England. Anne Boleyn was born around 1501. She belonged to one of the most influential families of the English nobility. She had a refined education at the French court and almost married James Butler. The scenario gained momentum, and even Henry VIII, whose mistress at the time was Mary, Anne's sister, had already approved the union, which ended up not materializing. In the end, she had an affair with Henry VIII. On January 25, 1533, the secret marriage between the two was consummated, announced three months later by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Cranmer, stating that pressures from the king had caused him to bypass papal authority. In April, with the approval of the new church and the archbishop, Catherine of Aragon's marriage to the king was annulled. However, on June the 1st of that year, Anne Boleyn was crowned at Westminster Abbey, already pregnant. On September the 7th, the queen gave birth to a baby girl named Elizabeth. In the following years, the king waited for a son, but gradually lost interest in his wife. Anne Boleyn, with a moody and arrogant character, did not have the support of the most influential members of the English court. And, after failing to produce a male heir, she was discarded in a plot engineered by the king.